I wanted to show you um, a couple things you could do to maybe improve your um, your room. So I really like what you did, um, but it's hard to make your figure look realistic on the bed when it's just that half figure. But I think with a blanket fluffed up and shifting your figure up a little bit, it'll look more like you're sitting up in that bed instead of just stuck on there. So I searched for blankets across beds and um, fluffed throws and a few things like that. But I came up with, first I tried these white down blankets that would lay across it. But it's having a hard time detecting something that's background and something that to pull out from it because of all the white. So that was not working. But I did find this blue throw and I got a transparent background, but it has this woman in a chair in it. But when you bring it into this remove background, there's an editing feature. So I can hit edit and then go up to erase, restore, and it gives you a brush, which you can make the brush bigger. And I can erase out the chair. Okay, and the person. So what I did was I came along even this white, although I don't know, maybe that could be kept in there. Uh, but I just came across and left the blue and then came, got that little piece of chair. That needs a smaller brush, so I'm going to bring the brush down, get in here a little bit, bring that up, come in here. Now I don't want that chair, but I also don't want it to look like a chunk, so I'm going to come along this fold. And along the curve of the blanket here. And I can get my brush bigger again. Actually go bigger or else you leave pieces of it. Now I know it's got a Perrier, Perrier water logo on there. It may not be your ideal logo to put on there, but actually you could even get a little image of another sports um, team or some other logo with a transparent background and set it over that. Or it becomes kind of insignificant in your slide. But once I get this cleaned out, then I go download slide or download image and it treats it like a download here but if you're on a Chromebook I think it puts it in the download folder and you're able to find it in the download folder and move it to your image folder and then I can get out of here so let me close out of here let me get off of here and bring your slide up and you'll see where I dragged that over okay and then I shifted I actually flipped your figure because the blanket has a lump on this side and it kind of oops see and I just positioned that to where it would cover up the other bed and you can push and pull so when it came in it came in more like this and I sat and I pushed it flatter to cover things up and I pulled it this way and that way to make it look a little bit more like it's laying down on the floor and just covering up the white blanket. Use my arrows to fine tune its position and then I did flip your figure so that because um, it kind of has an angled prop down here so that it kind of sits back there. The other thing that I did was 
I I made this I stuck this pillow in um, and you're able to go to arrange and send it to the back and then send it to the back again so that it sits behind here it just became an extra little touch but if you want to go in and work on yours a little bit I didn't count 10 items either so um, this becomes added items you could also put some items on your nightstand over here that would look nice. Um, you know, so some added things there. Um, if you want to use this blanket I in your Google folder, I put this blanket and the pillow. So you can put them in there. But it just gives a little bit more of a natural look that you are sitting in this bed instead of just this clipped image stuck on it. 